everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon 2 and we are here in the elephant exhibit here in our safari slash savanna zone of our zoos and I've got some pretty exciting news because I may or may not have um I may or may not have gone a little bit gazelle happy when I was looking for some of the Jim's rocks and some of the Thompson's gazelles. Thompson's gazelles are so playful by the way I've seen them in real life as well. Uh, and they're just, oh, they play with each other kind of almost like bunnies do. It's really adorable. But I was looking for them to purchase for our zoo so we can complete a little... Oh, the elephants have been painting! I have missed which elephant has made this masterpiece. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. But as I was beginning to say, oh, what's going on over here? Is this a dust bath or a mating? It depends on if the male is going to be laying down to... Well, let's see what's, let's see what's going on with this female right here. Do we have some mating elephants? Oh my goodness. <gasps> we do! You guys! The elephants are gonna have some elephant babies! And there's gazelles everywhere! Because as I was trying to say, I went to just get some Jim's Brock and I went to just get some of the um, Thompson's gazelles and somehow I came out with four different types of gazelles. All right, so he's laying down. This is not entirely accurate for how they mate in real life, but this is the Zoo Tycoon 2 version. They kind of both take a little little snooze next to each other. And oh, she is now pregnant, you guys! Oh my gosh! We have elephant babies on the way! I cannot believe that an elephant calf is going to be born. Oh, that's so exciting! The pregnancy, I wonder how long it's going to take, because some of the pregnancies go by really quickly, like the lion pregnancies. Oh my gosh, but we now have four different types of uh, like horse-like and gazelle-like creature inside of the elephant exhibit with the elephants. We have Thompson's gazelles, as you can see right here, who are happily grazing. Then you guys already know about our giant sable antelope, which we have added in before. And then we come right over here. Oh, this cute little one. This is the Mohor gazelle, which I probably pronounced terribly wrong. And it is actually a critically endangered species. It's really, really pretty. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, you know what? I really, I really, really, really want to have that in our zoo. So I brought it in and look at everybody. Now they're active now that there's so many more creatures and really a lot of antelope, a lot of gazelle moving in big herds. That is pretty natural for what these animals could be expected to do. So I kind of like that we have so many of them now. And then we also have our gems block, which I have added in because it was requested that they were for a challenge that we have. Dun, dun, dun. You were approached by a scientific journal writing an educational article about even-toed euglets, which have a special family name uh, when you get into their Latin names. They want three specific pictures and offer you 750 per picture. If you photograph a dromedary camel, a gems brock, and a Thompson's gazelle, you'll get $2,250, which is like literally a drop in the bucket for this zoo because we make so much money off of all of the endangered breeding programs. But the resulting publicity should also boost your zoo fame, which would be awesome. And you know, I'm always happy to help. So we're gonna take some pictures of those guys really quickly. I kinda wanna take a peek over here because I think this person was complaining about something. <gasps> did I just like, did I just like chuck that person somewhere? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry random person. I thought they were complaining about not having an ATM and oh, that was really alarming. And now the little gazelle is really thirsty and looking for something to drink and like marking its territory and I'm just gonna oh because they only drink from these food troughs interesting they don't like the, the uh, wood ones for some reason well I'll put a couple of them down for them to enjoy then oh this is so exciting you guys an African lion one is now pregnant again and the 100th Safaka is now pregnant oh that's exciting so what do you think over here this person is going to use the bathroom I don't know why, there's a bathroom right here, like right here. Do you see it? Okay, she sees it. All right, we're good, or he sees it, excuse me. All right, so the gazelles are on their way to drink from the metal food troughs. So they're very particular, they only wanna drink from the metal ones, but thankfully the other animals will drink from both of them. So that should be fine. Yeah, they're working their way over here. All right, and how are you now, Sid? Doing good, gonna use the binoculars. Amusement is going kind of low over here, so we're gonna need to add in some music rocks in a bit But let's grab those pictures really quickly because we're probably gonna have to start. <gasps> is this another mating? Oh my gosh Do we have 
Oh my goodness, do we have like rapid mating of all the elephants going on? Are we gonna have so many elephant babies? We do! Look at him! He is just going around all the different females in the elephant enclosure and adding in some elephant babies. Oh, this is gonna be great. Elephant calves are on the way. Adding in the gazelles seems to have spurred on the entire, the entire like resident, uh, residency area. What am I trying to say? It has spurred on all of the residents of this exhibit. Oh, look how pretty and cute this is. Oh, <laughs> we had like two seconds to look at how pretty and cute it was. And then I was just staring at a, like a pile of its poo. That wasn't quite what I had in mind. All right, there's a picture of the Thompson Gazelle. And then we need a Jim's Brock. Hello. Yay, we did it! The journal loved your photos. You have been paid $2,250 for the photos, and you are sure to gain increased popularity as a result of the published article. Yes, that's awesome. And now we have that little quest done, so that always feels good. Oh my goodness, so, yep, there we go, he's, he's right there. So we're going to be having some baby elephants pretty soon. Are you one of the pregnant elephants? She is, and I think it is going to be a very long pregnancy. So second elephant that I know of is pregnant, two out of three. Maybe three out of three. I may have missed it. So we'll check that out in a little bit. Oh, here's a kid. Oh, he's so cool. Oh my gosh, what does he have? He has, what is this? A Mossai giraffe stuffed animal, which is really awesome. And his favorite animal is the great white shark. I'm sorry. This is the wrong zoo for that. Wrong zone for that, Kidlet. But hopefully you're having a good time anyway. All right, so let's go ahead. And now I kind of need to check in on the lions because the lions are starting to have second litters. And ooh, the uh, giant sable antelope is now pregnant. They are wasting no time. Yeah, we've got lots of kits and everybody running around. I guess we'll leave the lions alone for a little while and just see how how things go with them. If they start fighting or not, if we have a lot of young males. African lion six. There's Cecil. Now Cecil, who is the father of all of the children in here, is he mating with somebody? He is mating with African Lion too right now. So we're, we're gonna have so many new babies everywhere. It looks like so far all of the, the babies are lionesses, all the ones who have grown up. So when African Lion 9 grows up, he'll probably head out, split off, and go start roaming on his own as a bachelor so that he can find his own area. Not like actually roaming just on the street there. We'll release him to the wild and then he can go roam as a bachelor somewhere else. And the African wild dogs are doing pretty good. Our cannibalistic crocodiles have had their eggs and children taken away and put into a safe zone. So hopefully they're doing all right if they're still where they belong. Because sometimes I think they can like jump the, the little fence gate that we put in, in place for them. So I'm gonna have to check on them in a little bit. Yeah, cause this bluegill, this bluegill used to be on the other side of this fence. So that makes me a little suspicious. In fact, do we still have that Nile crocodile? It was Nile crocodile number eight. Is it still around? Oh, we've got a lot of camels. We might need to do something about that. Oh, and the coyotes are all female. That is fascinating. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and adopt out all but coyote number 12, cause she's the youngest. Release to the wild. And then we'll get a male coyote so that she's not all on her own. Okay. Release to the wild. Coyote number 11 is still a baby, actually. Oh, okay. Well, um, <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for those babies to grow up and then we'll introduce a male because I don't want to put a male in there and then he goes and kills them unintentionally. Well, intentionally, but like we kill them unintentionally by introducing a male. All right, so let's see, lots of camels. We've got our lone female cheetah now, and we have Sandcat 21. I think he's on his own now. I think that Sandcat, the other Sandcat that we introduced him for, she's actually passed away of old age too. Oh my goodness. This is another one of those interesting, unique challenges when you run a long-term successful zoo like this, is all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, my animals are like actually dying out pretty quickly, or you have too many of them. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll put in a female sand cat for him, and then we will put in a male cheetah for her, and then separate him because he will attack the cubs. All right, African lion. And let's see. 
Tropical Savanna. Cheetah, where are you? Are you not in Tropical Savanna? You should be in Tropical Savanna. All right, we'll look under all. And let's see. And thank you very much. Somebody gave me a tip of if you open up like the zookeeper search. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, somebody mentioned to me that if you go into the little zookeeper icon, re zookeeper recommendations, when you have um, your animal selected, it'll pull up this screen, which I've always picked like the different things that the animals need from. And if you click this, it'll just take you directly to that animal in the catalog. And that works if you do not have a heavily modded game. So thank you so much to the people who suggested that to me because it would save so much time. But because my game is so heavily modded, if you click on the animals now, when you're up in the screen, it will actually crash everything. So don't do it if you have a super heavily modded game, or at least test it out to see if it's safe to or not. So we are looking for the cheetah. I want to add in a male cheetah for this female. And you can actually see her up here on the raised platform. So let's go ahead and put in a male and we'll kind of see how they deal with each other, how they interact. The cheetah exhibit is one of the oldest exhibits that we have in the entire zoo. As a result, I don't see a ton of people. I was going to say I don't see a ton of people looking at them very often, but here we go. There's a whole bunch of people back here. But I was actually thinking if we do build the sky tram, then I would kind of want to take maybe this back corner out, maybe like cut the exhibit off right here, just leave the exhibit like this. This whole stretch right here is cheetah exhibit as well. Um, and then put the sky tram over here, like a lesser popular exhibit over here and have the sky tram stretch from there and then like come back here. Dun 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 And then maybe land over here to let people out. So it would kind of give you a tour of this side of the zoo. Um, and then, you know, maybe we could have another tour kind of looping back by going over the river, maybe through the Sapaka exhibit, and then Sapakas are going to be jumping on people's like legs and riding out of the exhibit. They totally would if they could. They're such little troublemakers. And then come through maybe the giraffe exhibit and wrap back around. And I'm thinking if we do do a sky tram, that's what we'll do to just kind of keep it to one side of the zoo. So it's not like a four hour long tour of our entire safari zone, but it would let guests get from the back of the zoo to the front or the front of the zoo to the back of the zoo and back and forth with like less walking because I, I guess I could see how people would be like no nah, it's too far even if I am the kind of person who like I walked I think four miles uh, in Kansas City Zoo once because I wanted to see as many animals as I could and I still didn't see all of them and I was like pushing a stroller at the time because I had my little niece with me and it was just chaotic but I was so excited to walk that much but most people normally aren't I understand all right so let's see what happens when we introduce this male cheetah to the female that we have here we'll have to see if they they get along they they don't even look at each other they're they're subtly ignoring each other which is the way of things it really it really usually is so we'll leave them be and just see how they do hopefully they adjust pretty well he's wandering around kind of checking the area out Let's see, he's gonna drink from the water trough here. She is happily resting on her little observation sleeping platform. She's exiting it now. So let's see what she does once she exits it. So now what is she going to get up to? All right, where are you going, Missy? What you doing now? Performing mating call with Cheetah 19. So she's jumping straight to it. We're gonna have Cheetah Cubs back here pretty soon as well. So that's pretty exciting. And meanwhile, there's some people. Oh, look at the cute little, look at the little hand puppet. Look at that little giraffe hand puppet. Is that not the most awesome thing ever? Oh, I love that. So there's some people back here who are enjoying things. Giant Sable Antelope 6 is now pregnant. So we should be having the birth of at least two more critically endangered or endangered. Whoop, this is a marine challenge shark behaviors um we're gonna have to turn this down because this is not a marine area like we can't really casually throw a giant goblin shark exhibit in this kind of zoo so i'm gonna have to turn it down for this one but i like that idea here's a um headless child walking by who's really hungry and exhausted so that's telling me that people need more areas to rest along the way here what about this woman? She's feeling pretty good. She's got some money on her. She spent some money. She's got the warthog hat, the giraffe puppet. She's got the African wild dog, dog puppet. So a puppet on each hand. And somewhere she's got the black rhinoceros hat tucked away too. So that's pretty fun. 
All right, we've got an educator here. Um, the African wild dog and the lion are now pregnant, so we have additional pregnancies. We're gonna have to really start moving some, some animals out pretty soon because it's gonna get crowded. Let's see, and I think I actually wanna take away this archway and put in one of the educational kiosks over here. Maybe a face painting kiosk? Face painting kiosk in the future might be pretty fun. For now, let's do um, the reptile kiosk. Let's go ahead and do a reptile house right here because I think that would be really fun. And then let's go grab the music rocks since I saw some people wanted to be entertained. Here's a gentleman over here who like has made the huge pilgrimage on this empty, empty pathway all the way over to this side of the zoo. I wonder what he's going to do using the binoculars. So, oh, he's climbing even further. He is off. He is going somewhere far, far away. An African lion five is now pregnant too. Hmm. I really think we're gonna have to like, kind of clear up how many African lions we have pretty soon. We'll work on that. All right, so he's he's off somewhere to go view like binoculars. I guess he wants to look at something more interesting than lions. Ugh. Honestly, these people, they don't, they don't have any taste of what is really fun to watch. All right, so let's see. I need the music rock. Let's go ahead, we're gonna grab the safari music rock and we can actually just kind of tuck it right over here, can't we? Because people should still dance to it even if it's sort of tucked into the archway, I'm pretty sure. So let's see. And then I can like put a music rock. Mm, can I put a music rock sort of over here? I need, I need more for people to be able to do over here so they feel a little bit more engaged, enriched, happy. Um, let's put down the music rock and then some plants. There we go, just kind of cover this corner. And pretty soon, oh, was he looking at, oh, looking at the, the reptile. Yes, they're looking at the reptile houses, sweet. And now he's gonna go dance to the music rock. See, I knew that he wanted something to do. Oh my gosh, African Wild Dog 3 has just died of old age. I can't believe they only live that long. Well, I guess it's a good thing we're having so many babies be born then. All right, a local business tycoon wants to help bring more African animals to your zoo. If you can breed your Maasai giraffe within the next four months, he's offered a pair of white rhino rhinos. Yeah, we can do that. Our giraffes are having babies like every few seconds, it seems. So we are totally good. <laughs> oh my gosh, that we should have that, that covered in no time. I should probably check though. But look at this happy man. Oh, he's making me happy. Dancing by the Safari Music Rock. This is awesome. All right. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, and African Lion 1 is going to give birth. African Lion 3 is now pregnant. We're going to have to start shipping the lions out. Normally, they don't have that high of a success rate. All right, moving as part of the herd. Mossy Eye Giraffe. Mossy Eye Giraffe. Um, yeah, as long as a Mossy Eye Giraffe is with everyone pregnant right now, let's check. As long as a Mossy Eye Giraffe gives birth within the next like four months, which we have so many Mossy Eye Giraffes born all the time. There's an egg. Okay, good. Egg's good. Where's the baby? The little baby we have. He's good. He's actually under the bridge, but he should be... Wait, how do you get over there? How do you get out? Okay, stay there. You're gonna get eaten if you go elsewhere. So he's okay. That zebra doiker needs a bath. African bush elephants. All three of the females' pregnancies are progressing very slowly, but surely that's super exciting. I'm so excited about that. The gopher tortoises are like plodding along as always. They kind of need a male in there at one point. Uh, gazelles are doing good. Jim's rock are doing good. There we go. See, mossy eye giraffe already pregnant, already gonna have a baby. Boom! So we have already beat that challenge and it's another mossy eye giraffe, which is really cool because the mossy eye and reticulated giraffes can actually interbreed. So sometimes you'll have a mossy eye that gives birth to a reticulated or vice versa, I think. It may only go one way, but they can interbreed. So I was wondering if the challenge would be accepted if it was a mossy eye giraffe giving birth to a reticulated giraffe, but we should be good. That's the moral of that story. All right, let's see. Good, 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 good. And then how's this woman doing? Going to view some animals? I, I mean, like grabbing everybody and throwing them around. I need to be more gentle with our guests. I just like am running up to them and being like, are you having fun yet? Are you learning? Oh no, somebody's not having fun. Why are you not having fun, ma'am? Going to the trash can. Dessert carts. 
We can handle this, you guys. We can handle adding a dessert cart. Where would it fit? I think we're gonna remove one of the binocular sets. I've seen two of them at use at the same time, but we're gonna remove one binocular set because I'm pretty sure no one will complain if we add in a dessert cart instead of keeping like more binoculars. All right, so let's go over. Where are we? Which one should we pick? Um, If I was all the way back here, I would want a cheesecake. <laughs> But I really love cheesecake a lot, so I'm not sure. We're, we're gonna go ahead and put that down. Whoops, sorry, Daniel. Oh, it's a little kid. Okay, so he might not want cheesecake. Uh, let's see if he goes for the cheesecake. Do you want cheesecake? No, he's gonna go dance by the music rock. Ah, because because he's a little kid, I bet he wants like popcorn or something like that. So we're gonna swap the cheesecake out. Um, let's see, popcorn. It'd kind of be fun to do like a fruit cup, but I don't know if the kids will respond to the fruit cup. Let's just go with good old ice cream, because everybody loves ice cream. So let's just do some, some good old ice cream, and maybe he can come over here. What do you think, kid? <gasps> there you go! And just like that, he's gotten some ice cream. And he has no face. I would say he should be happier now, but I'm not sure how someone who's lacking, like, a head, who has has no no physical head, I am not sure just how happy they can be. But hopefully he'll be happy. He's off to his little little seating area to go sit down and enjoy this. There's somebody, some place for you to sit down. I don't think those tables are, like, too terribly far away from each other. And there we go. I really like how this area is turning out. Hopefully people will continue to be attracted. We're getting more guests kind of coming down to the back of the zoo over here. A lot of them are really hungry. So I think next time for sure, African Lion 7 is now pregnant. Whoops. Pretty sure that that is actually one of his daughters. <laughs> mm, actually, it's one of her like half brothers. Okay. So we're gonna have to start clearing out some of the African lions so that we can like not intermix the genetics in a bad way and also so we don't have a lot of competition between the males for their prides and we're gonna put a restaurant up here the waterfall restaurant that I hope will be pretty nice we've got a little kid coming over here <gasps> John's going to the gift shop what's he gonna buy I'm always so excited when they like come out of the gift shop with more stuff he has eight whole dollars oh I really hope there's something he can buy for eight whole dollars I'll feel kind of bad if he can't come out with anything. <laughs> and Cheetah 18 is now pregnant. Yes. We are just moving and grooving on this. Oh, he got a African elephant hat. Now that is new. So he spent all eight of his little dollars on an African elephant hat. And look at him come out with it on. Oh, that's adorable. I love it. I love it. But all right, guys. I will see you guys next time. I cannot believe... You know, you think if you are in the same zoo day after day that it'll start to get a little bit boring, but I'm actually loving this because the challenges of running a large zoo are so different to the challenges of getting a zoo up off the ground. And we're having a pretty good time. So we're gonna continue to fill some things out. I'm really trying to hit that headset kiosk goal, maybe that goal of being able to get the, the um, endangered baby totem. And then after we can get the statue and the headset kiosk, we will probably go check in on some of our other zoos, but continue to rotate back in here and you know there's things like um if this area of the zoo doesn't seem very popular with the cheetahs lately then you might move the cheetahs to a different area and redo the whole exhibit that's the way a real zoo works to try to change layouts up attract people into the area get them to try new things so we'll be working on that a little bit in the future too Ooh, how's this little restaurant doing cafe on the bay it's hardly pulling anybody in. So I'm thinking we will try putting in the um, Sky Tram over here and seeing if that can perk up in this kind of very, very quiet corner that we have here. So there is a lot to do. Everybody is getting pregnant. There's going to be babies absolutely everywhere. And this is just amazing. And I hope you guys are having a great time and learning something new. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.